So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunrun Engine 5 tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 133 and I have to talk again about Collision because I think I made a little bit a mistake and showed you not all options and that's why we have to do this in this video again. So let's get started. First of all we go to the selection, uh, change the mode here, for example modeling because I need First of all, a model. Let's make a faster model. And we start, for example, with this cylinder again. I click on it. I drag it in. I complete it. I scale it a little bit up. Yes. And yeah, why is so it's okay. And then let's make again a cut so that I have a hole because I need a hole. Let's make this a little bit bigger, perhaps. So and there are different ways to make a hole, but I'm not very good, so I use the cut. Where is this? Um, holy deform, holy cut here. Okay, let's cut it, and I have selected there a square already. Let's see. Uh, let's make it bigger. Uh, here are some settings. Yes. All right, let's make it so. That's good. And then let's accept it. Okay, now we have a sphere, uh, not a sphere. Now we have a cylinder and a hole in it. And I want to use the cylinder later in my level, like so, perhaps. So, other way around. Okay, then let's so. And then I want to press it here. And you can see it. I made something like a, don't know, uh, something. And yeah, we can walk uh, through it. So that's very important because that's why we made it. And now the problem is again uh, collision because we learned already. Let's go here to the select mode. And if you use this modeling tool here, right, all time when you model something, uh, this object has automatically a complex collision. And I said this works on flat. Um, on flat uh, static meshes, for example, you see it's flat and it will create less collision. Uh, but on very uneven uh, uh, surfaces, it will create too much collision. And let's uh, see what I mean with that. First of all, let's go here on the outliner, right click, browse to asset, double click on it. So we open it, we dock it here on top and we watch the complex uh, collision. We can go here to show and here this collision complex collision and you see this complex collisions are not that many actually and because this uh, surface of this uh, object is very flat which means there are less triangles uh, to cover all the surface that's actually usable i would say in this state but in general i said it's bad if this object is not your final state what i mean with that for example if you uh, add a displacement later on it to make it look a little bit more interesting then this will change a lot but before we go there let's see what i mean with that um let's go here to the details panel let's write call and in collision we can see by default, collision complexity is use complex collision as simple. This is default setting for all models here. If you model something here in this modeling thing. But let's say we don't want this because I say normal, if this would be my final state, I would keep it. It's okay. Less collision, not no problem. It's perfect, accurate. But let's say I want to change this one. So because I want to change it, I want not use it because later it will become too much. So what I do is I go back to per project default, which means this collision is no more used. Then we can go here show. We can deactivate this one and we activate now simple collision. And if we activate simple collision, you see there is no simple collision at all. And then I told you we have different options here, right? We have the option one, which is here the top ones here then i told you we have this auto convex and then i told you we have an option to create of course this uh, setting here this uh, use complex as simple something like that which, but you should not use it if this is not uh, flat uh, or i said uh, uh, use a third party software right and 
in this video i want to show you that actually even if you have something like that which is has a hole you don't need a third party software and why let's and i show you that because here when we go back to collision and i show you first this auto convex collision here when i select this auto convex collision and you let's say we start with one here hal max hal con uh, hal vertis let's say this by default just change here this one to one i apply this one and you see this one will not work because if i select now and that's new you can really select this collision here let's try it and you see this collision which is created here is exactly one this one what you have defined here is one and this will not work because when we watch this uh, it has some collision lines here between and this collision line between will block us right so let's go here let's go remove collision and let's say make two and i apply this one now what we can see it will still not work because we have still lines here right oh, that's the camera here below so this will not work but when we watch this let's select this one you can see we have one and we have actually created two collisions here right one here one here which means this uh, um this uh, auto convex uh, collision creator will create more and more collision uh, things if it's possible so let's see let's go here a little bit more and let's go here a little bit high so that i have not made too much let's say 10 apply and now what happens is when you watch closely it has indeed covered this uh um yeah this hole right and it covers also the space and when we click again on it you see it has not really 10 now the reason for that is probably because it's not possible to have 10 but it has covered all places here I, so i have not read the documentation exactly the technical documentation how this one works but the thing is it creates here all thing what you need Right, so you don't need here um, create a third-party software to make something like that as well. So this one works. This is really nice. Remove collision. You have just to read how to, yes, what this uh, settings are doing in the, the technical document, uh, documentation, and then you get uh, it out. Uh, then you will get better there. So let's say I set it because 10 was anyway too high. Let's see. 7 was enough, I think. Let's see. And you can all time check now. And but seven is I don't know. Oh yes, it works. Seven still works. And yeah, this is one way. And if you apply this one, save, go here now. And uh, let's uh, let's browse the asset here. But before, let's select this one here. Now browse the asset. And uh, let's put this one here. Let's delete this one here because. I don't know if it was updated. That's why I use this one here fast. And let's make a wrong scale. Doesn't matter. Stay there. Let's see. Now I make this one here. And we test our collision settings. I start the game. And you see it works. Yes, it's working, right? Nice. All right. That's cool. That's nice. And there is one more thing. So we don't need really a third party software. This thing here is really working. And yeah, depends on your needs. You have, you still can use a third party software, but there is one more way which I have not told you. And yes, let's do the next way, which is when you go here again to remove collision, save this. And what you can also do, and I didn't know it too exactly but because i thought all time that you can add only one collision but actually you can add here more collisions what i mean with that you can add here a box collision you can see we have here a box collision right and then you can actually edit this box collision like so and then adjust it where you want like so for example 
And then you can add even more box collisions. Let's adjust this a little bit more. And yeah, you get the idea, right? So you can here, then you go here on top and add again a box collision, for example. You see, you have again a box collision. And then you can go here again, adjust. Of course, there is a simpler way to make here duplicates. For example, just hold Alt. Of course, I have not do the, <laughs> I have not done this because I wanted to show you that we can add. Uh, all right, but you get here also. But this time I use Alt. You can select here, for example, this one here. Press Alt and then use one of this. Uh, gizmos and you see i have now duplicated this directly here and yeah that's the next way and i'm not sure if you should overlap uh this collisions here um you have to test it but let's say i'm not sure perhaps it's okay perhaps not mm. you have tested it can, overlapping is most time not a good sign but I make it without all of our overlap here and yes and something like that yeah but i think you can also overlap it because in your scene more many things are overlapped they are not activated but i do it just without overlapping now but i think you can the better is just to read but important is here just to see that you can create your own collision box here more or less and now you see we used not again a third party software we created almost the same thing what we would create in a third party software very easy fast here you just save this one and now you have added here your custom created collision box anyhow and then you can go here again save this let's browse to asset again let's put this one here let's delete this one and it will work again So, and here, and you can see this, here it works again, nice, nice, perfect. And there is one more thing about collision fast uh, I want to show you. And if you have this one here, of course you can now, um, like I said, you can say this is not my final product because I want here make something more i don't know yeah i have here a graveyard uh, perhaps something more danger let's make a go to the modeling tool and then you would change here this this um static mesh here because i have make i won't make it fast i just use this displacement so it's very automatically changed instead of one by one and now you can see our coalition would work here as well here is already updated and if it's not working, you can update your collision here by yourself. You can click it and see if this fits your needs. For example, here not. And so then you just adjust them. And it's a very fast way then, actually. So you can just adjust them to your needs here. You say <clears throat> um, it should go here and here. But yeah, you can create here many collision boxes as well. So you don't really need a third party software like i said you have to learn blender 3d max or maya and then import the static mesh with these settings you don't have to and that's a good thing for starters in unreal engine so you can really make all things here i think that's really cool and one more thing here before let's test this fast and yeah you see it works nice but the important thing here is when we check here again what i said the best collision is normally this collision but bad for performance that's why nobody is using this one when we click here complex and you see the complex collision here it's going up uh, compared to the before one because the surface is not flat and we need more triangles to cover the surface and the worse the surface goes the more triangles uh, we need let's add here one more fast all time this uh, displacement now it looks now it looks really cool this cave when we play this wait a second we have to accept it it's accepted okay uh, this cave looks now now really cool i would say more or less 
I would rather keep something like that and say yes but the collision is working and when we work in it's nice but the problem is look this collision settings here this uh, use complex collision as simplex is here no more option i would say because that just too much just one static mesh and has millions of collision lines <laughs> that's too much compared to our green lines here and that's why we select here project default simple use this um, green lines adjust them a little bit check if all is covered and you can even make here some more if you want for example let's say you are not happy you want to make it a little bit on your own accurate you can here try it with your own skills i don't know you can copy this one here and then adjust a little bit there and there to adjust this it's a little bit work but it's worth it so you don't need a third party software and with that said, I think I stop here. So if you have any questions or any complaints like all time or any suggestions and tips and tricks, it's cool because this one here was uh, yeah, was uh, told me by uh, online in the internet that I should uh, use this one instead what I showed you <laughs> and uh, yeah it's an ad I think you still learned something from the other videos too but this one is definitely the way to go it's very easy if you want to avoid a third party software for example you don't need Blender you don't need Maya Max and anything for collisions you can really can do it but you still can use third party softwares for let's say more complex collisions if you don't like modeling here all the things but actually you don't need one, uh, a third party software and that's the good news here and yeah with that said i stop here uh, i hope it helped and bye